Hello everyone, this is Deepak Krishna VM, ME Structural Engineering AMI, a verified educator from an academy. Welcome back. The exfoliated vermiculite or the exfoliated vermiculite. What? To taken aback? This is not a medical term or not an aid in technology. This is another aggregate used in the lightweight concrete. So let's see what this is all about in this lesson. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Academy and also follow us on the other platforms like official app, Facebook page and the website of an Academy. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a good time. So previously we have seen the formed blast furnace slag as a lightweight aggregate. We have seen in detail how it is done and also some of the advantages and applications of the uh, formed blast furnace slag. Okay, so today we are going to see yet another very important and also a very peculiar type of uh, lightweight concrete aggregate all right so let's start but before that well, let's have a small quick recap of the basics okay so you might if you are following me for a past few lessons uh, you might wonder why I always repeat this slide in my each and every lesson see first of all please understand that the aggregate plays a vital role in the concrete mix as I always said before I'm repeating it again so and also uh, here we are not talking about the normal aggregates okay here we are talking about the lightweight aggregates all right so only few in the world are qualified to be a lightweight aggregate so we must know about them in a very uh, clear manner okay one must have a clear idea about them before uh, learning about each and every type of them all right and also these aggregates are light and weight also they are strong enough that we c it can be qualified as a aggregate and uh, uh, qualified as the aggregate for the concrete okay so that aggregate actually provides the name for the concrete or gives a character for the concrete or its lightweightness all right that its lightweight uh, property is actually derived from this aggregate only so that's why we must uh, be very uh, what can we say very we, one must have a very clear cut idea about the lightweight aggregate all right so as usual the like aggregates which weigh less than 1000 kilogram per meter cube are considered as the lightweight aggregate all right uh, so so one more time lightweight lightweight aggregate its lightweightness is due to the highly porous microstructure okay it can be divided class it can be divided normally into a natural and artificial so natural we have discussed in previous lesson artificial we are it's going on series uh, due to the back, lack of availability of the natural aggregates and the, due to the environmental conditions and also due to the expense or due to the cost related issues uh, the artificial aggregates has been introduced implemented okay and also normal aggregates doesn't provide a uniform sometimes it doesn't provide the uni uniform uh, performance or the uh, uniformity in the performance so for that the artificial aggregates helps us a lot okay now let's move on to the today's lesson that is the exfoliated vermiculite okay so by seeing the name itself you, we can deduce uh, or one can just assume that this is something from the medical term or this, this is something belong to biology you know something like exfoliated vermiculite but trust me this is a uh, another mineral i mean artificial aggregate that has been used in the lightweight concrete all right now let's go into the details of this so first and foremost let's see what this thing is all about okay so what is this exfoliated vermiculite vermiculite or vermiculite so actually um, let's see what vermiculite is all about first and foremost let's see what vermiculite is so vermiculite is actually a it's a kind of mica like material okay or it can it can be said that it's a derivative of mica or it's a type of mica okay with high magnesia content in it that means 25 to 30 percentage of magnesia content in it and it has a similar lamina structure of the ordinary original mica okay it is a mineral or it's a type of mica it's a, or it can be said as a derivative of mica which has high magnesia content that is 25 to 30 percentage with similar lamina structure of the original mica mineral okay now uh, you, now you understand what uh, vermiculite is or vermiculite is now let's see what exfoliation means okay so exfoliation so exfoliation is uh, nothing but it's a it's a process or it's a phenomena of expansion due to the heating in the presence of water to put it in a simple sentence okay it's it's a phenomena of expansion due to the heating in the presence of water okay something like that in a very simple plain english so due to ex so that is when heated with water 
a material expands by deflammation or delamination okay not deflammation delamination okay in the same way as of slate or shale when we consider the uh, what can we say mica consider the context of mica so this mineral it will it will expand due to the delamination in the same way like slate or shale this expansion is known as exfoliation in the context of vermiculite okay or vermiculite whatever way we can pronounce it all right so uh, let's see more about that as we all so as we said that is a lamina structure similar to mica now the laminate texture actually okay when it is subjected to heating okay so the, this lamina texture of materials it consists of uh, flaky layers okay so the texture is lamina and also it it consists of flaky layers okay these layers loosens up under heating okay which means that the bonds break in between these layers and which results in the expansion of the mineral or the material okay into a certain limit okay so that means that when the heat is applied the bonds are broken and hence uh, the flaky layers will loosen up okay the distance between them will increase at this result in the what can we say the increase in the volume okay and hence the expansion takes place all right so hence uh, the expansion actually takes place in a very uh, what can we say in a very considerable amount that is uh, the expansion of 15 to 25 times the of the original volume takes place actually okay so 15 to 25 percentage expansion we can expect from this kind of processes all right so after the expansion but the density will be only 60 to 130 kilogram per meter cube this point itself it's clear that the volume increased okay but the weight or the density just uh, came into in the small range so from this sentence itself we can deduce that it is qualified to be a light weight aggregate okay but because of this low density okay another character to develop for this mineral is that the develops for this to this uh, mineral that is it it's low strength okay that means the density is less it's very less actually which results in the lower strength of the concrete so which means that this cannot be much applied to much of the structural concrete i mean much much of the structural lightweight concrete but it has its own really good applications which we will see in the come upcoming slides okay now uh, let's have a little more detail about the vermiculite so vermiculite is a hydrous phyllosilicate mineral okay it's a phyllosilicate mineral so after exfoliation so when this is subjected to exfoliation that in the presence of enough amount of, or sufficient amount of heat uh, the composition will become 2 is to 1 clay okay which means that for two tetrahedral sheets the, the uh, i mean for each octahedral sheet there will be two tetrahedral sheet okay that we are more, uh, here we are focusing more on the molecular structure or on the solid state structure which means that for each octahedral sheet we have two uh, tetrahedral sheet all right so in such sheets the potassium ions in between such sheets okay it's replaced by magnesium and iron uh, iron ions okay so there will be potassium ions between the sheets so those ions are replaced by magnesium and iron ions okay so there's a small replacement is also taking place in between them and also a small expansion and also there is a reduction of density okay so that's what already happens in the solid state or in the molecular level of the uh, vermiculite when it when it is subjected to exfoliation all right so uh, that's all for the molecular level now let's move on to the advantages and the applications okay so i put both advantages and application in single slide which means that will be easy for us to remember that means we'll see the application and let's see why it is applied so okay so that advantage we'll understand why it is uh, as a why question and also where uh, where it is applied so from uh, answering the where question we can understand that uh, the application of it okay so all these things are correlated so that's why i put in a single slide okay it means in a as a single unit all right so let's see one by one first sentence itself is a very good advantage of this uh, particular type of lightweight concrete made out of lightweight this li lightweight aggregate okay that means that it's a very good thermal insulator and also a very good sound insulator okay even though it has a very uh, comparatively lower strength and lower density uh, the uh, another good um, property that popped up is the thermal insulation as well as the sound insulation okay uh, so this is all uh, used in the 
or in situ roof screens and also for the flooring all right so in flooring some cases we doesn't need much high amount of what can we say the high uh, loaded structural concrete so that uh, it we, it doesn't require that uh, depending upon the design and also in roof screenings we doesn't need very high uh, what can we say very high weight weight and concrete all right which will improve which will increase the dead load of the en entire building so to counter those things okay and also there is in much load taking place in such areas so in such areas uh, these kind of concrete which has lower strength and lower density but it will do the work okay such concrete can be can do wonders okay so hence uh, roof screens and floorings can, uh, uh, can uh, is the places where this can be applied successfully okay and also in the manufacture of blocks slabs and tiles so sim uh, because of the similar properties that can be applied in these kind of situations also that means of building blocks that means low low strength building blocks slabs and the tiles okay and since it's uh, not so strong and not so dense these products can be cut sawn nailed or screwed just an just like like an asbestos okay it can be cut it can be sawn it can be nailed and it can be screwed so it's very versatile actually i mean it's very handy actually now uh, these are uh, since it it has a very good thermal in, uh, insulation and also some other insulation some other uh, resisting properties are there it can be used in a pipes that can carry steam or hot water okay so also when the vermiculite plaster vermiculite plaster is uh, combined with gypsum okay it become completely incombustible okay now the resistance became actually the uh, incombustible okay and also it's a good absorber of sound and heat insulation okay that means there is fire resistance there is heat insulation and also good absorption of absorption of sound when the vermiculite plaster is combined with gypsum okay and also uh, the clay that we have mentioned before two is to one that two is to one clay is used in the open fireplaces okay again thermal insulation plays a vital role here so that's all for today thank you for tuning in please comment your suggestions please rate my presentation please recommend and share the slides this is my link to the n academy platform just check over there i have done some wonderful courses based on the concrete technology uh, based on the ingredients of the concrete basic test for hardened concrete that means destructive test for hardened concrete a test for uh, fresh concrete cement fine aggregate coarse, ag coarse aggregate everything is explained over there in the simplest way so thank you once again until next time i wish you a great day ciao